Hello guys, not sure if everyone knows, but on LaravelDaily.com we have resources code examples with more than 700 code snippets and examples from open source projects. And today I want to show one of them. So if we search for policies here and we have 18 examples of policies from various open source projects. And recently I found out this project, LaraBoard Careers, and I want to show you an example of policies, how it is used in that project. There's nothing very fancy, but this is how we typically should learn, in my opinion, from real practical examples. If we analyze one part of how it fits together with other code in the project to make it visible in a better way, I will use GitHub instead with a full tree of the project. So in the policies, we have three files. So for example, job application policy, which is used in a controller like this. So admin job application controller. And in a few methods of that controller, we have this authorize. It automatically uses the view method of job application policy. Another method, this authorize update status. And in the policy, we define those methods with true or false. And this is not a typical policy class because by default, if you generate PHP artisan make policy, it generates a lot more methods like create, edit, and list. I don't remember exactly the names now, but view is one of them and update status is a custom method. But the condition is the same. Return that the application belongs to the same user that is logged in. So this is one way how you can use policies. But also, have you noticed this thing? In every policy class, in all those three classes in this project, they use before. If user is admin, then return true no matter what. No matter which method, no matter the condition inside of it, just overriding the thing. Which basically means, if I'm an admin, I can access everything. And that user is admin may be defined however you want. It may be a role ID. It may be admin as a user role name in the users table. That doesn't matter that much. It's actually a good practice to have a separate method inside of the user model to hide the implementation. And then that user is admin can be used in multiple policies. So if we get back to the list, job policy also has the same before. But in this case, it's more similar to the default policy. So view any, view create, which has another method, by the way, is HR representative, which is probably another role. So only HR representative can create a job, but update can be performed only by the same user of the job. And then if we take a look at the third policy, user policy, so managing users, this is again with before admin can access everything and view is false. So no one can actually show the users, but view a specific user and update the user can be performed only by the user themselves, which basically means editing the profile. You cannot create the user in this case or delete the user, both return false. So yeah, a quick example of how you can use policies in your Laravel project. I have a bit deeper video on roles and permissions and policies and gates, which is so popular that it is in the top three videos of all time on this channel. And the information is still relevant, so you can watch that if you want to get the info on gates and policies kind of step by step. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.